Good morning and welcome to another episode of GFC at Home. My name is Abby and today we are going to be learning about the tremendous life of turtles and the oceans they live in. Then we are going to make our very own origami sea turtle. There is an abundance of life on earth and nowhere is this better observed than in our seas and in our oceans. They are simply bursting with life. Everything from the tiniest plankton to the biggest mammal on earth, the blue whale. This diversity is possible due to the vast expanse of water that covers around 70% of our planet and the variety of different environments that there are. From the tropical shores of the Bahamas to the blustery beaches of the UK to the freezing cold waters of the North and South Pole. Sea turtles are one of my absolute favourite water dwelling creatures but they begin their life on land and it's full of danger and daring as they make their way from their cosy nest where they hatch to the wild open ocean. They face many dangers including predators and stormy seas but they can live for quite a few years. So how long do you think sea turtles live? Well they typically live for around 50 years. And during this time they can travel vast distances, particularly during migration. So how far do you think sea turtles can travel? Well they can travel thousands of miles, typically from the warmer waters of Australia and South America to the cooler waters around North America and Canada. Earlier this year, a sea turtle named Yoshi travelled from Australia all the way to Angola on the east coast of Africa and all the way back. She has travelled further than any other sea turtle ever recorded at 22,000 miles. Good going Yoshi! When female turtles return to their nesting ground, they will lay their eggs. They can lay lots and lots of eggs, sometimes up to 100 at one time. So it's the temperature of the nest determines whether the turtles will be female or male. If the nest is nice and cosy, they will be female. If the nest is cooler, they will be male. So how many species of sea turtle do you think there are? Well, there's actually only seven from the smallest species, the Kemp's Ridley at about two feet long, to the Olive's Ridley, the Hawksbill, the Flatback, the Loggerhead, the Green Turtle, and the leatherback, the biggest species of sea turtle, at six feet long. Unfortunately, all seven species of sea turtle are currently classified as endangered, which means their numbers are in decline and fewer can be found in the wild. Sea turtles play a key role in maintaining coral reefs, which are home to a vast array of life. So it is vital that we protect these wonderful creatures. The biggest threat to turtles is human activity, including fishing and plastic waste. Turtles can become trapped in fishing nets and it's really difficult to get free if you only have flippers to help you. Plastic waste produced by humans can take hundreds of years to decompose and can end up in our oceans in vast quantities. There is even an entire floating island made of waste called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch and it's estimated to be three times the size of France. Plastic waste is particularly harmful to sea creatures and can end up in their stomachs, making them seriously unwell. Climate change can also impact on the lives of our turtle friends. As the global climate warms, more female hatchlings are produced than male, and this can lead to a decline in populations. More frequent and severe storms can lead to destruction of nesting grounds, and rising sea levels can lead to the complete destruction of beaches and fewer places for turtles to nest. So what can we do? Well, we have the power to reduce our environmental impact and ensure a brighter future for sea creatures and for ourselves. We can make small changes, including recycling as much as we can and reducing the amount of plastic we buy and use. We can do this with things like reusable water bottles, metal straws, fabric shopping bags and plastic free alternatives to shower products like shampoo bars. The bar soap, but for your hair. Pretty cool. So these small changes together can lead to a big change in the future and help support the diversity of life on our planet. So now we are going to make our origami sea turtle. What you're going to need is a square piece of paper that's about 15 centimeters across, or you can download and print our template. 
Here is our template just to make it easier to follow along. The first thing we're going to do is fold three of the corners of the square into the middle. The last corner we are going to fold in the opposite direction into the middle. Now we're going to fold along the two diagonal lines and the middle line. Okay, the next part is a little bit tricky. What we're gonna do is slip it around. In this crease here, we're gonna fold it in the opposite direction and then push it all the way underneath to make a half of a triangle. And do the same on the other side to make a full triangle. So we're gonna turn it around and fold along this line here. Draw roughly in the middle, so if you don't have your lines drawn on, then you can just eyeball this one. Then we're gonna fold along these two diagonal lines. But again, if you don't have your lines drawn, we're just gonna fold it so that those two edges are parallel, just like that. Then we're gonna refold the first crease and then we're going to pinch where those two creases meet. They should naturally just fold in one particular place. And then we're going to fold over on the vertical line. Do the same thing on the other side. Pinch along where those two creases meet. And then fold on the vertical line. And those two wee bits in the middle should meet. Okay, so now we're going to make the back flippers. For that, we're going to pull out this part here and fold that crease in the opposite direction. And we're going to hang on to that and fold it back down again. Hang on to that crease you've just made. And there is one back flipper, just like that not too crucial where your flipper ends up. Fold it in the opposite direction, fold that fold and then position your flipper wherever you think it should go. Okay now we're going to make our front flippers. So if you don't have your lines drawn on we're just folding that corner to the middle of the head and then folding it back on itself. Folding it to the middle of the head there and then folding it back on itself so that it's parallel with your other flippers. Then we're going to shape the shell a little bit and just squish that corner in and then fold along the vertical line there. Do the same thing on the other side. If you don't have your lines drawn on, again, this is not too crucial. We're just folding it in the opposite direction, making a wee triangle, and then we're going to tuck it underneath. Like so. The last thing we're going to do is fold it in half so that it stands up a little bit. There we go. And then we're going to fold over on that little point there so he has a nice rounded head. And then we are done. Here are some of the sea turtles that members of the GSC team have made. Thank you so much for joining me today on GSC at Home. If you have any questions or you would like to show us your sea turtles, please leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. That's it from me today, but tune in tomorrow at 10am for your daily dose of science.